Yeah. Yeah. It's a world of me. I did it. I'm in a game. Yeah. Just kidding. This code is trash. It's all garbage. And I'm going to delete it right now. Okay. I'm going to use a combination of dependency injection and super functions to communicate up and down a chain of nodes within a scene. Um, because that's the foundation of the way state machines talk to each other. But it's also the thing that I've been struggling with before even getting to the foundation of making real state machines. So let's do that. We have the blank script and I'm going to create nodes. This is daddy. Say hi to daddy. This is sister. Pouty's sister. This is brother. Uh, I cart before the brother horse. I'm gonna make a dad script. I'm gonna actually give this, I'm gonna make this a parent class of the children and then I'm going to remove it uh, because I need the daddy to be something else entirely, but I want to, I want to make these scripts first. So we have gum here. What we want to do is we want to find a way to pass a reference of this character and its children, his children down to these nodes way down here so that they can access them and act on him. Um, first we need to create references to the children we want to act on. So we want um, nm equals nms, oops, nms, yeah, there we go. So now we have access to the animation node from him. What else do we want to do? I don't know, for now I think that's fine. Uh, if this is, this is not, this is daddy class, let's go funk. Um, forced, um, no, 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 let's call this funk, funk, move the mouse, funk up the chain, funk up the chain, uh, and we'll say, um, we want this to play an animation. Now, let's just, let's just pass this. I'm getting ahead of myself here. But also, we want to store a copy of, let's go gum equals gummy. This is, an, uh, this is a new thing I learned about, is the, um, the empty variable. Like, it's not, it's, it's nothing, there's nothing there. And gummy is just this, just this class name. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for this dad class. This is like a base class that the kids are going to inherit from. And I'm going to remove this script, because I don't want the script to be attached to anything, actually. I'm even going to rename this to um, family manager. He steps in while dad is away. Give him a new script that is not going to inherit from daddy because we can't have that. It doesn't need to be its own class or anything like that. But what this is going to do, this is the script that's going to pass reference of the character to its children. Because you don't want to do that with the... Let's go this inherits from daddy. You can't do that from the parent class. Brother extends from daddy. There's a difference between inheriting from a class above and being the child of a parent. They're two different concepts and it's very hard for me to wrap my brain around that when learning. Uh, very frustrating stuff. So we have this here. Family manager here. We want to create a function called uh, give me your face. And we need to pass a variable. Um, good boy. Something needs to come in for this function because oh, we need to store. We also need to store whatever comes. We don't want a function that will assign whatever this passes through as uh, a variable that we can pass along to other people. So we want, uh, let's call it gum. Gum equals gummy type. Mm, that's confusing. Let's call it, um, 
let's call it uh, let's call it gum gumman gumman gumman. Now it's empty. This is this is a different variable from pass, so you don't mess with me. This is a different variable from the daddy script, which is gum. This variable here, this empty variable, is going to be inherited by the sister and brother. They instantly have this here. Also, if we go to daddy and we at export var um, dude, I get a string. What's cool is uh, any script that inherits from it instantly gets the dude function, except it doesn't because you have to like close the scene and open it back up in order to see dude appear. That took me forever. I don't think that's fair. That you can't. <laughs> but anyway, so now we have export variables that they inherit from their parent class. I don't know if it's called a parent class because this is the parent of the child. I get mixed up with that kind of stuff. But let's go back to this because now we have this variable. And what we want to do is we want to take this information here. And we want to say that gumman equals um, gumboy. Um, and if gumman, then for child in get children, um, child dot, what did we call? We called it just gum, just straight up gum. Child dot gum equals gumman. So now what we've just done is we've said, this took me forever to figure out, but we basically, oh no, identifier, oh chill, 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 glub, glub, glub. Now, basically what we're saying is, when you run this function, you pass through this argument. Uh, if information does come through, we want to store it as this variable. And if this variable does truly get populated with information from here, then for every child node, node has nothing to do with class names or class types, for every child node, change their variable to gunman. Now, the, we don't have to have, we don't have to write that variable in our scripts um, because it's in the daddy script. So it just assigns it here because it's a, like an invisible version for the kids. In the same way that export is visible to us, gum exists for them. It's just invisible because we don't need it other than to call these functions. Now, this, if this works, then hey, it works. Let's print hey, where let's hear. Uh, no? Expected end of statement. Do I have to put it in parentheses? Is that, is that what that is? Is that what I'm forgetting? Maybe. Uh, I still want it under the if. Now, let's go back up to the gum. To the gum. And let's make an... Um, what are you doing? Class name gummy hides. Oh, okay. Yeah, screw you. Um, let's create the ready function. And let's just run. Um, oh, you know, what? we need access to the family manager in order to be able to run functions from it. Because we want to run the function from here to pass ourselves to it. Already var fami equals dollar sign family manager. So now we can run, now we have the ability to run fami.gimme. Uh, it's called gimme, right? Help me out here. Gimme your face. Fami.gimme your face. And we'll pass ourself through it. And you don't like this class name. Hides a global script class. Oh, it's like a creepy glitch because it wouldn't save. Let's just gummy body. Are we good? Can we do that now? Are you good? Gummy body, let's type gummy body. Now let's take gum. And we, we want access to, on ready for, access to the family. Fam, family equals family, 
Why didn't you auto-populate? Well, whatever. Now let's create a function. This is your script, right? No. No, screw you. Uh, close you. I see what's happening. We're having, we're having an issue. Yeah, load gummy. There. Good, okay. Now, let's create a function. Actually, let's just, it's just our ready function. On our ready function, we're gonna run fami dot give me your face and pass ourselves through it. Boom. Now, let's go back to family and print, hey, it works. So in theory, if we pass ourselves through and populate that variable with a reference to gum, we'll see it'll print something. Hey, it works. We lit it. Yep, it worked. Great. But he's just a dead little floaty man. Now, what we've just done is we've passed a reference of the character uh, all the way down to the, the child, which then sends it all the way down to its children, which is really exciting. Does daddy have a function yet? Kind of. Daddy has an up the chain function. And we have a reference to the animation player, which plays animations. So let's just have sister and brother each trigger a different animation. But we'll do it by calling the super function of their parent class. But it'll be populated by this dude export. It'll be, it'll be unique because we'll, we'll define the, which animation to play in the dude window. So in the daddy class that's not attached to anything, under up the chain, we'll just type gum dot oh what was the variable for the animation just anim okay nope we're on daddy gum dot anim dot play dude and now it's ever is whatever is in for sister let's make it walk and for brother let's make it idle very cool now so that's going to play every time this function up the chain is called. However, it'll never get called. Let's make a uh, function up the chain. For sister, uh, is up the chain, up the chain, yeah. So let's make a, let's make a up the chain function for sister that overwrites its uh, overwrites the daddy function, which would be uh, an input. So like if input dot is action pressed, UI accept, just pressing the enter button or whatever. Um, if it, input dot is action pressed, UI accept. If we do that, we're going to do is Oh, we're going to run the super function. That's kind of fun. Void up the, oh yeah. So the super function calls the version of up the chain that's in daddy as opposed to in sister. So in daddy, it just plays an animation. So sister is going to, so no animation is going to play until the child presses this button and that'll trigger the animation. In fact, it won't work right now because there's nothing listening for this input. That's the only issue. This, this input, this up the chain from sister needs to be listened to by the family manager or by somebody. Um, so let's create a reference to sister and brother in the family manager. We'll do that from the get go. I'm ready var sis, sissy equals sister and already for a uh, brubby equals brother. And then we'll create a function called um, input event. I mean, that's just what we'll be listening to. Um, but so what's fun, like this is the internal function that listens for input events like inputs, button presses, etc. But you can put anything in here uh, as long as it eventually leads to a button press. So we would want to run uh, 
sissy dot up the chain and rubby sissy dot up the chain and also rubby dot up the chain the input event is almost like a process event in the sense of it's it's always running it's always listening so you don't have to it's not like even if it's, even if it's a one-time event it's always capable it's consistently listening it's like one ear to the ground physics process would be the other ear but we're not going to be doing anything like that this is very 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 simple so now we have do we have a brother action we don't let's copy the sister's action let's copies the sister function Here's the brother function. And uh, can't make it UI accept. Let's make it UI loft. Did I already name his idol? Yeah. So now we have one button from each sister and brother running into the family manager. Those buttons, these button presses, are calling a function from their parent, their little inherited class, daddy to play an animation um, that is a child of the character. And the character, and the reason they are able to access the character is because the character has passed itself down to the family manager. And the family manager has taken that reference, stored it as a variable, and passed it to all of its actual children nodes. So we've gone down and we've gone up everybody's listening to everybody and it's all kind of incestuous and as long as it works <laughs> which it does it sure does then nobody needs to get upset no i don't <laughs> you're all going to jail but yeah that is that was very 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 difficult for me to learn and this is the second time i've made this video in a row the first time it took me over an hour to fuddle my way through this concept while talking out loud because I thought I had it and I didn't quite have it. And now, even though this is a little bit rote, um, conceptually, I do understand what it is I've done. I mean, I might stumble to recreate it a week from now, but the next step from here, going from an enum single script class, uh, enum single script state machine to a, just a series of nodes within a scene that communicate up and down with each other. The next step is going to be a state machine that controls the character. Thank you for watching this. I'm very excited.